Jesus to save my soul. For we know him who said, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. And again, the Lord will judge his people. It is a terror, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Because our God is a consuming fire. Our God is a consuming fire. The God who made this universe. All we have to do is to take a look up. A look up the blue sky. Look at the sunset in the sky. And then take a look at one another. And say, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This didn't happen by chance. There has to be a creator. If there is creation, there has to be a creator. Just look up once in a while and look up to the hope. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. You see, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Without faith, you cannot please God. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them who do diligently seek him. He is a rewarder of them who do diligently seek him. The Bible says, the Bible says, he who is unjust, let him be unjust still. He who is filthy, let him be filthy still. He who is righteous, let him be righteous still. Let him be as holy, let him be holy still. Why? Because the time is drawing to a close. The day of the Gentiles is coming to an end. The day when the Gentiles are saved is coming to an end. Jesus is going to sweep away his church in the rapture. And we will be gone forever. We will be gone. But the rapture comes and then Jesus comes with ten thousands of his saints. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ. We wait for him. I know in my heart of hearts that he is at the right hand of the Father. I know deep down in my spirit that he is the living God. And I know that he is coming back soon to judge this world in righteousness. He's coming back soon. Why? Because it is impossible for God to lie. It is impossible for God to lie. And when God said these words, when God said these words, he said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him might not perish, but have everlasting life. What does God demand of us? The Jews ask Jesus, what may we do that we may work the works of God? And Jesus said, this is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. That's it. Believe in Jesus and you will be saved. Believe in who Jesus says he is, not who man says he is, but in who Jesus says he is. And Jesus said, before Abraham was, I am. Jesus said that he is the living God, he is God incarnate, he is the King of Kings, and he is the Lord of Lords. God bless you all my friends, God bless you all, find a Bible, please, I beg you find the Word of God, find what the Word of God has to say, and find out why we are here on this earth, find out why we exist, find out the truth. Please, eternity is too long to gamble. Eternity is too long. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of years depend upon what you do in this life. Thousands upon thousands of years will depend on what you have done in this life. And God, God beckons us all. He beckons us all into his kingdom forever. If you just believe in Jesus, you will be saved from this perverse and adulterous generation. We will be saved from this perverse and adulterous generation. For the Bible prophesied of the days when it's getting worse. For in the last days, 
perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, disobedient to parents, unholy, unloving, without natural affection, truth breakers, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. But my friends, today is the day of grace. Today is the day of abundant pardon and abundant mercy. Today is yet the day of grace. Today is the day of mercy and forgiveness and peace with God. We don't realize it, but we all crave for peace with God. We don't realize it, but that's what we need to know. Now we just need peace with Yahweh. Deep down we just need peace with our Heavenly Father through the Lord Jesus Christ. It is possible, it is possible to have peace with your Creator. Please, please find Jesus before it's too late. God bless you all. Jesus loves every single one of you. Amen.